Well, it's up everyone. Welcome to Cracker Season 3, Episode 46. Yeah, I'm right. Um, got some books in the mail. Got quite a few, actually. I was very impressed. Uh, got them for a great deal. Uh, I did already open them, because I figured, what the hell, I might as well move it along. But this is how people should pack things. Which I'm going to show you. Uh, one book. So I'm going to show you. Came between two pieces of solid cardboard taped all over the place. The book was taped to the cardboard and then wrapped around, which was good. Another one was taped between two pieces of cardboard, wrapped in a bag with another piece of cardboard, which was really good. And so far, the best one of all is the guy packed the comics between two pieces of cardboard, then stuck it in another piece of cardboard that he had folded over like that. So when it opens up, it was in, be you know, in between even more, and then wrap that in something else. That's how you deal with stuff. I mean, you gotta go that extra little mile. And the shipping on all these were like two bucks to three bucks a piece, so. Whereas the other ones that I showed uh, recently, the shipping was the same price, and they just kind of flimsy it out. Anyway, let me show you the books. Got some good ones. Especially for the prices I got them, I'm really impressed. Um, this is the Giant Size Annual Uncanny X-Men number 10 which is the first appearance of Longshot. Oh yeah, got this for a buck, one dollar. I was shocked, I'm like, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna get it, it's, you know, it's gonna go up. You know, and bit, nobody bid on it except for me. I was waiting and waiting and I just, you know, threw a bid in there. I think I put like five bucks in there or something like that and it went up, it was, uh, it was 99 cents and I got it for 99 cents, so. And it's in great shape, I would say it's probably very fine. It's got nothing really wrong with it, very cool. So a buck for the first appearance of long shot. Not bad. Next one, <coughs> I'm unbelievably pleased with uh, for how cheap I got it. Again, very happy, and especially the price that the guy had it on there. Um, but as you can see, all the tape, because this was actually the one I just showed you. This was taped to the box, uh, the cardboard on top of more cardboard on it, and then packed really well. But um, I had seen this, the cheapest I've seen this in a comic book store was 15 bucks. Uh, and when I saw it online for the price the guy was charging, I was like, wow. I was like, all right, you know, it's going to go. But nobody really bid against me, so it was kind of cool. Uh, Uncanny X-Men number 248, which is the first Jim Lee artwork. And as you can see, the guy's original price, $22. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'll get used to the camera one day. There we go. 22 bucks is the original price, apparently, he bought it for. Um, he had it on there for $0.99 cents and $2 shipping. And uh, I was bidding, and uh, I think I was going to go as high as like 10 bucks just to try to get it better than the comic book uh, store, you know, 15. Uh, I put a $5 bid down. Like I said, the guy had it for 99 cents. Put a $5 bid down. Somebody bid against me. It went up to, um, uh, went up to like 5 bucks, and I'm like, oh, crap. You know, I got outbid, and I'm like, all right, I'm not going to win it. And the last second, I said, screw it. I put $10. Uh... And I got it for seven bucks. Not bad. Seven dollars. Better than the store. And last but not least, this is from uh, the guy that packed it with the box within the box, which is pretty cool. Um, really well done. Like I, gotta, like I said, gotta give the guy credit. Packed it really, really well. Uh, it's Amazing Spider-Man number six forty-eight. And. Amazing Spider-Man 137. Yay! I mean, I, I don't mind if he packed it and, you know, save the, you know, that's fine. The way he packed it, I was like, wow, that's, that's impressive. Now, what did I pay for these? I would tell you what I paid for these. Um, I got them cheap again. Uh, <clears throat> the guy was cool, though, because he had, um, it was combined shipping, so... Uh, I think he said up to 15 bucks you paid uh, three bucks, 3.99 for up to 15 bucks. Uh, so I got the two books for the, the one shipping price, which was cool. And uh, they were pretty far apart, so I contacted him. I said, you know, I'm, I'm trying to bid on a couple of your other auctions. And I, I did lose one of his that I wanted it. I was trying to get. Uh, actually, no, I lost two of his. But I won two, so I guess it evens out. And uh, he's like, yeah, no problem. He's like, just uh, I'll, tell me when you're done with the auctions, and I'll send you an invoice. And, and it's combined shipping and, and stuff like that. Um, this was two bucks, and this was four, which wasn't bad. So, nine bucks altogether, 
not bad for two bucks. Um, yeah, the, the auction I lost, it sucked. I was so, so close. Uh, he was selling Amazing Spider-Man 135, which is the second appearance of the Punisher. And he had it. It was dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. It was 99 cents start. And when I found it, and I, and I realized the same guy, I'm like, what the hell? You know, I'll, I'll go for it. Uh, it was like 10 bucks, And I was like, all right, that's still kind of worth it. You know, whatever. And, and I put down 15 at the last, like, 10 seconds. And somebody put down 50 and it went up to uh, $33, so I was like, oh, fuck. But, yeah, I, I lost that one, and the other one I, I didn't win was the Man of Steel 18, which is the first Doomsday, which uh, I think it went for, like, 8 bucks. I thought I had it, that's why I was like, all right, you know, no, no big deal, and I don't have it, so that's kind of a kick in the face. But what the hell? I won these, very happy. I still have more coming in the mail, eventually. Uh, so that's, that's something to look forward to. Um, I was watching Hippies Collectibles, and I was... I was it was funny because his, which was his recent one, was it? I can't remember. Anyway, the one where he uh, he got the first appearance of the creeper. Very very cool, very cool. Um, I actually lost a bid on uh, the creeper one. Uh, great deal, and I figured you know I was telling my fiance I'm like you know, you got to kind of convince them I guess you know I was like ah it's you know it's really cheap I was like, considering you know, uh, it went up to uh, thirty three dollars. And I told my fiance, I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'd, I'd put it in forty. I was like, because it's, it's kind of, it's worth it. I figured, you know, what the hell was, in, I think he said like, very fine and near mint, which it looked like it from the from the photos. The like guy had photos of everything, like the corners, you know, so it was worth it. And uh, free shipping, so I'm like, what the hell? So I threw in fifty, uh, fifty, forty dollars the last second. It went to like fifty three eighty two, and I'm like, oh. So I lost the creeper, but I did find another one, that's in a little. I think it's probably, uh, fine to very fine condition, but more of a fine condition for a little cheaper so i'm hoping i'm gonna win that thing and then get the first appearance of the creeper uh that would be cool i love the creeper um i always thought he was funny as hell especially in the animated series uh it's funny because i didn't know about the creeper until that until the batman animated series and had no idea because i wasn't really a huge dc guy but um the creeper that <laughs> the way they did the creeper on that just made me i'm like that's awesome <laughs> i was like he's a f hero kind of version of the joker but totally insane like more than the joker Good stuff. <coughs> Made me laugh. Ah, that will do it, I believe. Um, next time I get any books, like I said, I will definitely, uh, uh, you know, make a video. I'm making a lot. I think I'm going to go to like 50 episodes per season and then start a new season. Because uh, I don't want to go overkill. I mean, a couple of other ones I've gone to 60 and I think I might even went to 70, 75 ones. But, you know, keep them 50s, make 50 episodes, new season. Besides, Gizmo's bugging me. He wants to be included in a new intro and all these things, which I know I haven't had intros really on my show in a, a while. Uh, mainly because of YouTube. It just it takes forever to load up, like, even, like, a 10-minute video. I guess Time Warner Cable. It's just slow as shit. It takes me, um, a 10-minute video takes me over 45 minutes to upload. Whereas when I had uh, Verizon, when I was in New York... I, you know, I could do a two-hour video, and it would take me about maybe ten minutes to load up. So, it's a bitch. And uh, also, with the intros, it takes longer to process them, because they got to go through everything. I'm like, oh, this is bad, this is good, this is bad, you know, so it's... I don't know. I usually just do an intro for, like, the first, maybe, five episodes of a season, and I'll just cut the intros. But who knows, maybe I'll make a shorter one down the line, just quick, welcome to hell, you know, whatever. But anyway, <laughs> um... Andrew Osborne, uh, if you're watching, you know, I hope your kids feel better soon, man. That, that's a bummer. Uh, but on the plus side, you got some good books. Pretty damn cheap. Kind of balances. <laughs> that's an evil thing. No, no that doesn't really balance because, you know, you're, you're better off having everybody healthy than having a, a good price on a book. But I don't know, man. Good prices on Batman? Mm. I'm kidding. Seriously, I hope your, your kids feel better soon, man. That, that sucks ass. I mean, I don't have any kids, but I used to watch my cousins all the time, and I know how it is. You know, they get they get cranky, and rightfully so, because, you know, kids obviously aren't adults. You know, adults kind of handle things differently. You know, you're getting, well, not all of them. I, I kind of whine a bitch when I get sick or, or hurt. But uh, kids, yeah, they, they just, they sometimes they're actually a lot tougher than adults. I mean, I've seen kids take some serious stuff that an adult would have been, like, dead from. But, yeah, it, it sucks. But anyway, like I said, man, I hope, I hope they feel better soon. And uh, that will do it for my video. Like I said, hopefully I'll make them make another one soon, wherever the comics come in. 
Got a lot coming around. Got to use the credit card. No. Uh, but I'm also going to start throwing in, because I'm, I'm just weird like that, I might start throwing in some Chuck Norrisisms into my video, uh, which might play a key part down the line. Who knows? Uh, so here's one. Chuck Norris doesn't hide. He only seeks. <laughs> and it's not the size you make of the matters. It's what you have in it. Later.